Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about should the Tampa Bay Buccaneers re-sign defensive tackle Steve McClendon. Now, between this video and the next one that I have planned for the uh, next player I believe the Tampa Bay Buccaneers should or should not re-sign, this could be potentially the last two that I have planned to do unless you guys uh, want me to do more. So if you guys have been enjoying these series of videos that I've been doing this past week talking about a handful of the players the Tampa Bay Buccaneers should or should not re-sign, let me know down in the comment section below what other players you would like me to talk about. And also, if you have any other video ideas, those would be greatly appreciated as well. But moving on now to Buccaneers defensive tackle Steve McClendon, who the Buccaneers traded for during the regular season after the injury, the fractured ankle that Vita Vea suffered after, I believe, the Chicago Bears game. Now, I know a lot of people who are watching this video may think, ah, whatever, what's the big deal? It's just Steve McClendon. He was a backup defensive tackle. Oh, well. But... I think that Steve McClendon is a very solid defensive lineman. Uh, you know, he was kind of on a lot of not great Jets teams, unfortunately, that really hampered his overall player, I guess kind of hid it away in terms of the productivity that he could have. But for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers throughout the second half of the regular season and in the playoffs as well, I thought McClendon did a very serviceable job filling in as a rotational defensive guy, both as a nose tackle and then, heck, even in the Super Bowl, a lot of people didn't notice this, but Steve McClendon had one heck of a game, not just as a run stopper, but especially as a pass rusher. I mean, he looked phenomenal out there in the Super Bowl. So shout out to Steve McClendon for that. I mentioned him a lot um, whenever I was reacting to the Super Bowl, but I like Steve McClendon. I think that he is a very solid rotational guy. I think at this point in his career, being 34, 35 years old, he wouldn't cost a ton of money for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to retain him. Uh, they are potentially losing Nacho, Raquel Nunez, Roche to free agency as well. And while they do have some younger guys, I think that Steve McClendon offers so much to this team in terms of not just, you know, productivity as a rotational guy, but leadership as well as mentorship to some of these younger defensive linemen that the Buccaneers have, guys who were maybe on the practice squad or late round draft picks in recent drafts. McClendon can be that guy who can be there, mentor these younger guys, teach them Todd Bowles offense because he has an extensive history with Todd Bowles. Um, Todd Bowles was his coach for many years with the New York Jets. So, Overall, McClendon offers a lot to this team at a relatively, you know, inexpensive cost, in my opinion. The one question that I have about Steve McClendon is, will he or won't he retire? And that obviously has a lot to do with whether the Buccaneers can, um, should, will be able to re-sign him, because if he retires, well, then that's it, done and dusted. But... I haven't seen or heard anything reported about Steve McClendon, you know, leaning towards retirement. And now that we're getting a little bit deeper into the offseason, that is when you start to hear things like that, when players are going to be retiring and whatnot. Um, you know, it came out actually pretty much right after the Saints game that Drew Brees was pretty much going to be retiring among other players around the league. So we haven't heard anything from Steve McClendon yet, which makes me believe he might you know, not right, you know, retire right now, so to speak. So overall, um, while it is still up in the air, if Steve McClendon does not retire, I feel the Tampa Bay Buccaneers should absolutely bring him back. I feel that he could be a solid replacement for Ricky Nunez Roche if they lose him in free agency. I think that he can be a solid mentor and leader in the locker room uh, and mentor those young defensive linemen that the Buccaneers have on the team right now who are still developing, still working into the rotation. And um, yeah, overall, I thought he did a very good job in the limited time that he had with the Buccaneers throughout the regular season and in the playoffs as well. I, I really won't forget, you know, the plays that he made in the Super Bowl. For some reason, those are kind of stuck in my head lately. But overall, I think that this would be a good re-signing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to make. But guys, those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Should the Tampa Bay Buccaneers re-sign Buccaneers defensive tackle Steve McClendon, and will they? Uh, you know, give me your realistic thoughts and opinionated thoughts about all that down in the comments section below. I said that I think they should, and ultimately, if he doesn't retire, I have to lean more along the lines of I think that they would. Uh, so, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.